Auburn getting ready for their fifth consecutive home game at Jordan-Hare Stadium. And some interesting talking points this week as Gus Malzahn gets ready for ULM with those talking points. Wes Siner here on the Plains now. And uh, what did you take from his press conference today? Gus Malzahn seems to be opening up a little bit. Yeah, this is the second straight week where, you know, he's kind of had a more of an introspective look at, at how everything's going overall. And obviously, I, I think that's kind of spawned by the, the two losses that uh, that Auburn suffered against uh, Texas a and Clemson. You know, last week he said those were the two toughest losses that he's had uh, in his uh, in his career here on the Plains as a as a uh, as a coordinator or a head coach. And so. Um, you know, I think that he's he's trying to step back and, and really do what's what's uh, best for the team uh, against LSU. He had uh, Rhett Lashley calling all the plays, and so he's he's going to go with that plan moving forward. And um, I think that's kind of where most of our questions today were uh, were about Rhett Lashley and, and kind of surrendering that responsibility of calling the plays and just being more of a more of a head coach instead of you know, an offensive coordinator. Now, Wes, you're the eyes and ears on campus there at Auburn, along with other reporters on campus, and it seems to be the opinion is that Gus Malzahn has loosened up a little bit, and, you know, he always likes to keep things close to the vest, and not that he's giving up too much, but what is your thought, and why do you think the change of maybe personality or what he's giving up in his press conferences here when people talk to him? Um, I, I mean, I know that there was obviously a lot of talk uh, going into the season, and especially after those two losses, that he was he was on the hot seat. And uh, I think some of that has calmed down a little bit now that uh, now that you know he beat uh, that Auburn beat LSU. Um, but like I said, I mean, I, I just think he's he's trying to step back and, like he said, doing what's best for the team. Um, and he feels more relaxed. I mean, players uh, we, that we talked to today, Rudy Ford and Daniel Carlson, both commented on. on Kind of how his demeanor has changed a little bit, and, and how he's just kind of stepping back, um, and and not being as hands on uh, as he was. Because in that first game, he said that he was he was coaching angry, he was he was living uh, living and dying on every single play. Um, and then against uh, against LSU this past weekend, you could see him on the field. He wasn't on the line of scrimmage. He was off to the side. He was kind of observing everything as a whole. And so, I mean, it, it worked. It worked on Saturday. I don't know if it's going to keep keep working for him uh, that way the rest of the season. We'll have to see how it plays out with Rhett Lashley. But I think, um, you know, he's been with, with Rhett for so long, and um, I, I think that he wants to see him grow in his career as well. And, and I think that for his three years that he's been here, this is his fourth year, but he's, he's really been the, the head guy and the, and the head play caller. And so now he's kind of letting Rhett kind of spread his wings a little bit and, uh, and, uh, and call some of the plays. And Wes Auburn goes and gets a big win against LSU. They're home this weekend against ULM, and then they're back on the road or they're on the road for the first time this season for Mississippi State. What's the overall confidence and morale of this team, knowing that they've got a lot of challenges ahead of them? Um, well, you know, like you said, I mean, they've, they've only played two SEC games. Uh, they've got Louisiana Monroe, and I don't think we're going to learn a, a whole lot about the team uh, this week. They're favored by 34 points. We'll, pro we'll probably get to see some of the younger guys play a little bit more, like they like they did against Arkansas State, but then. It's uh, it's 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 on the road after that at Mississippi State, uh, and then they have a bye week, um, and then you know Arkansas is coming to town. So you know, over the next three or four weeks, it's really going to be important because these two games are, are winnable games, I think, for Auburn. Um, and I, I think you can see the offense progressing. Obviously, the Clemson game was just kind of a disaster, uh, playing all those three quarterbacks. But Sean White is settling in. Um, they seem to be getting a lot of confidence from this LSU uh, win because they were not obviously expected to win that game. And the defense has been playing pretty well pretty much the entire season, I think. And the offense seems to be kind of hitting their groove. So, um, it's, I mean, they're, they're improving and they're tr trying to still figure out their, their identity. But I feel like this past win was, was pretty crucial for Auburn to beat LSU because if they hadn't, then they'd be 1-3 right now. And we'd really be, we'd, we'd be talking more about Malzahn than we, were, than we would be about you know, less miles uh, at LSU. Yeah, no doubt about it. All great points there. And for all your Auburn Tiger updates, you can visit us on AL.com.